I told you I was gonna bring you glasses. Is this a unicorn? <laughs> Damn, dude. Do you have any meat on your bones? No. Try <laughs> <laughs> clinic, dude. I'm in the little fun. clinic right now. So. Hello, how are you? Uh, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about it. Well, how are you? You made it. 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 Welcome back, y'all. It's the front porch. WBOK 1230 AM. What New Orleans is talking about. All day long. I'm your host, Graylin Brian Banks. And it's your girl, Kimber White Dupree. Hey, y'all. It's Brother Nyron on the other side of the glass, y'all. On this bad churn Wednesday hump day. The bottom of our final hour. And if you are... Any type of long-term listening to this show, you know that on Wednesday, when we talk about bad cheering, we bring in the docs. Mm -hmm. And today, we got them both Man. in studio. Man. Dr. Both Eric Griggs and Dr. Mark Allen. No, no, Derek. pause first. Pause first. <laughs> Dr. Eric, as usual, Dr. Mark <laughs> Allen Derek for the first time this year. Wow. This yeah. is what I get. Yeah, he said I saying it. He wow. said I put it down. I ain't saying it. I'm bat. not going to stop. Anything yeah. I say behind What's your face. What's that wrestling move when they jump on top of the thing and they just bounce so off the No, it's, yeah. you know what? It's called a disappearing act. Oh. 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 I'm staying out there. January is the first Dude. month. February is the second month. March is the third month. Are we April? Am we, I fool? We, we are in April. Uh, so I ain't no fool. I can count that out. I didn't realize that we you were You missed the whole life. first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in, coach. Put me in. I'm glad, I'm I glad you're here. I'm glad I, you're I here. contacted the clinic and said we're yes. rearranging folks. Yes. We're carving out this time. Yes. So we appreciate it. Let me let us know what's going on. So we definitely appreciate you being in studio today. While he saved the DeWitts. Yes. 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 Put it. The level of involvement and commitment that both of you show, it's always good to see you guys looking like better than what I know you've been through. I'll yes, put it indeed. that way. I mean, you never know what country this dude is going to be in on I the front line, know. crawling through the mud, dodging whatever. Well, yeah, well, dude, I'm going. Wait, no, you can't. Matter of fact, we forbade him to go back. Go. Why, why right. did you go over there? That's so, right. So did, so did the missus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't blame him. <laughs> right. That was you spent your time in Ukraine, uh, which, again, you know, th th this really goes to show who you guys are, especially to our listeners who have seen that part of you for going on four years now, yeah. man. Years, we, yeah. We've seen we're, that part of you guys for wow, almost yeah, four years. March 20th, right? Yeah. Was it somewhere around March, right? Somewhere around, yeah. Somewhere around, yeah. 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 We, we had just got to the Mardi Gras, and, and the world was trying to blame us yeah. for, for the COVID, <laughs> and you guys started coming, man, and it has been that kind of run since then, and then we've gone through all of the COVIDs, mm -hmm. as they still come. All of the uh, COVIDs. We, we, oh, we've coming. covered all they're of the COVIDs, and now we're back to some of the same things that were there prior to uh, allergies, colon flu, uh, HIV, the righteous practices that one should use to keep oneself healthy uh, and it seems like the more things change gentlemen the more they stay the same yeah, yeah right. last, last week and uh, I mean, you can wax philosophical on it there so lately at the TV station they've been talking we talked about it here mm -hmm. uh, we talked about the uh, resurgence of measles yes yeah. but then surprisingly it came across they wanted me to talk about there's a resurgence of inbox um, because most people haven't gotten two doses that are in that target population right. across the country, like monkeypox. Yep. Yeah, we're referring to it as mpox now. And not me. <laughs> <laughs> we going classic. We, we talk, going old we school. Talk, we, we talked we, about uh, the renaming and the necessary oh, of yeah, the renaming was, of it. Yeah. yeah so, it's so it's back. It's well, this is the first time hearing <laughs> about. No, it, no, it's it's it back. It's, 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 it's back. Uh, it's uh, the people. People are not vaccinated. I attributed it to vaccine fatigue, but. This actually brings us back, this is really, really scary. This brings us back to March 13th. I'm like, dude, what was the thing we kept talking about on the show? Because we had our own little show we were doing. Mm -hmm. the we're doing it was COVID, it was coronavirus, the COVID thing. Yeah, I, they, I can't leave the TV station. Dude, what is this? What is? And we talked yeah. for Eric, just this, 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 and thermometer, and he pulled me into the rabbit hole of infectious mm -hmm. disease. And that's kind of where it started. That's right. And four years later, here we are. Here we, we are. are. So this here we is are. With, with the first case of human bird flu that we've seen this year. Yes. And this so early. this is the thing that I've been talking about. Yes. Now, remember your weight. 
we quit so, some monkey puzzle. Get rid of the animals. All the man. We start with men. Well, we start is, with men. Everyone this, is where, this is where it wow. starts. It starts in animals, and, and viruses transmit amongst animals, and then eventually, once they're able to get into humans, once they pick up the ability to transmit amongst humans, that's it. Off that's to it. the races. Right. And that's what happened with COVID. That's what happened with influenza. That's what happens with all of the viruses. Smallpox, cowpox. Yeah, uh, cowpox. and in this case, mpox. But bird flu is the one that we really need to watch out for. This is a person in Texas. He works Texas. with he works with chickens. There is right now. Remember last year, egg prices went up to yes, eight bucks. Yes, we don't remember we that. About the reason why was they had to call all the chickens. Why did they have to do that? The reason is is because there is an epidemic of bird flu in American birds. Say it again, We're talking in the yes, yes. epidemic of bird flu in American birds. This is not talked about enough. And it's largely because of what Eric just said a moment ago. You were talking about vaccine fatigue. Yep. I think that there's just epidemic, epidemic fatigue. fatigue. Uh-huh. Just so, yeah, well, not another one. Not, yes, because so, well, there's one right around the corner. But this one, hang on a second, Eric. Mm-hmm. This one is bad. Like if we, COVID was a warm up, right. that was T-ball. Yeah. This is World Series fastball pitch, right? This is 50% mortality. This is 50%. 50%. And you know who are the first to go? When we've seen this in other countries, physicians and nurses are, mm-hmm. you, they're on the front line. They are the first yeah. to go, absolutely. So whenever I talk about this, especially when I talk to doctors, that's the first thing I said. Just yesterday, I gave kind of an impromptu kind of lecture amongst doctors and nurses that in the ICU at mm-hmm. the facility I work at, and we started talking about birth flu. They, they started asking me about it, and I was telling them, you have to be aware. The f- it, we've seen outbreaks happen in other countries. The first people who are affected are physicians and nurses because they're caring. It's the same thing with yeah. Ebola. Yeah. Uh-huh. When yeah. Ebola yeah. breaks out, the first people, the hospital that I worked at when I was Ebola doctor, that was in my uh, in my ward. They call them wards <laughs> in, yeah. in Freetown. The ward that I was in was the major Ebola hospital. There was a huge wall of pictures of all the doctors and nurses that, that had succumbed. So, so this is uh, this is full, truly full circle. Um, because prior to COVID, as we were having our conversations and we were doing our our, our, our radio show and podcast the whole night, all this dude would talk about is uh, there, there's going to be a pandemic. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I said, what do you think it'll be? Most likely, he said, it'll, it'll be a flu. Mm-hmm. COVID caught us by mm-hmm. its, its sucker mm-hmm. punches. But this is the one that we've been talking, he was talking about before. My dude, stop scaring me. I don't want to talk about that. Because that wasn't <laughs> COVID. No, no, when no. you were giving the warning when, well, about COVID was pandemic. always COVID. Well, then we just referred to them as coronaviruses. It's okay. coronavirus, we, we, but it wasn't. We were, yeah, COVID was something that came up as a result of the SARS. But virus. that's not what you were. No, that's no, not we, what had you concerned. Well, no, I mean, no, it, had, it, had, it had folks like me somewhat concerned. Uh-huh. But the coronavirus, we knew, was, flu. was, I mean, the flu was the big bad. That's, right. that's, that's the one that has the, the one. massive mortality associated with mm-hmm. it. Every week, coronavirus the has a mortality, but not the mortality the that, flu that the flu virus has. So, but the thing is, is that these Be are careful RNA. With that, though, these are people RNA. people will think the flu that we have now. Remember when people saying the coronavirus just the flu is not as bad as the flu? Right. Like, the but flu it, that we have now is a two or three percent. It's two or three, right? But but it, it, put that in context of what COVID. I don't want people to minimize. Yeah, I mean, COVID what has COVID a very COVID. similar mortality rate. Yeah. But the thing is that people have we have so much immunity right now. Yeah. Right. Ninety nine percent. I would say a hundred, but yeah. I'm a scientist. So I'll just say ninety nine percent of the globe, which is hundred. Right. <laughs> ninety nine percent of the globe has antibodies yeah. to COVID, either from exposure from vaccines or from both. Mm-hmm. We don't have that with influenza unless you are vaccinated every year and not everybody gets it, not vaccine, everybody yeah. gets influenza. But coronavirus is so uh, uh, this one that we have, this COVID virus, is so transmissible. That's why we've all had it. Yes. This is why this yes. is my second time coming to the show in yes. four years mm-hmm. because we were staying separate right. from right. one another. But I knew that we knew that coronavirus is because it's an RNA virus. Right. And we talk about these RNA viruses mm-hmm. as being very plastic. Mm-hmm. They move very, very easily. That's why we don't have a vaccine for HIV. That's why we right. need a new vaccine every year for influenza. That's why you need a new vaccine it's always a every year. It's always shifting. Whereas DNA viruses were made out of DNA. Mm-hmm. We want our offspring to be exactly like us. We don't want a hand sticking yeah. out of its head, right? Yeah. right. But for the, the RNA viruses, that's a genetic advantage for them because they can always skirt the immune system. Imagine one of those uh, those genius competitions with Rubik's cubes. Yes. yes. Where they're 
<laughs> right. That's the RNA virus with the Rubik's Cube, switching and changing and trying to figure out something. That's, and then imagine someone putting a Rubik's Cube in here and be like, uh, <laughs> nah, I just like it the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Leave it just like yeah, that. Leave it like that. That's pretty. Like that's <laughs> right, exactly right. Another great analogy for Eric. And the first vac the first virus we've ever eradicated was the smallpox. Mm -hmm. That was because it was a DNA virus so and it was unchanged. The last virus that we saw in 1976 was exactly the same genetically as exactly. the virus that they were able to pull off mummies okay. that were, that, that's a scientific term, I'm not using right. it. Right, right, right. I'm right. not trying to, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. The, when they go to mummies and they're able to find the smallpox in their faces, because we talked about makeup being yes. invented yes. because, because, because of the not, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The genetic analysis was the same between the two viruses. And never that's changed. How we, that never changed. It was a DNA virus. Doc, where are... When I hear you talking about the bird flu, and the, uh -oh. the, the, uh, I, well, that <laughs> comes to me yeah. because I'm now thinking about the measles and the movement in the country to not, not immunize yeah. and vaccinate so, 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 your before, children. Before, let, me, let me be clear, clear about that. The reason that we're concerned about this, this, this bird flu yes. is that every year there's something that we've not been exposed to. Uh -huh. Yes. That's so what that, I that, that, that's, that's the difference. That that's the difference. key point. Yeah. That's why it has a 50% mortality rate. Yeah. And Never. I say this respectfully, but next to doctors and nurses who are going to be very well vaccinated wearing masks, mm -hmm. the first people who are going to die are those individuals who refuse to get vaccinated yeah. and those individuals who refuse to mask. Yeah. Because, and I can assure you, once those individuals start seeing mortality rates, they will change yeah. on the just, dime. Just like they we saw with COVID. Very yeah. quickly. Oh, yeah. right. So the other question is, like we've seen so many different variations of the flu because we had the swine flu, the bird flu, and you said there was uh, a, there, there are different pieces of uh, influenza, the Spanish flu, you know, all of those different things. What, it, what is it that is, I guess, the shape shifter? I know you said it's an RNA, so RNA gets to uh, figure something out, something else out every year, but what can we do to get ahead, ahead of it other than just good uh cleanly you you have to wash your hands yeah. wash your hands wash your nasty hands <laughs> well i mean so did stay you home see the, you did you see the articles in the last couple of days i i didn't click on them i, I, I was going to but uh the noel.com articles that are coming out on our phones the push notifications are talking about which schools have the least amount of vaccine requirements or who which school has given the most and i was thinking to myself you know i i, I don't have children but if i did have children I guess a factor of where I would send them to school would be how, how with the vaccination rates. And we now know in Landry's, Louisiana, we are going to see a significant decline. Mm -hmm. it's and up, the, it's the, up the bills, vote, yes. Yes, the the bills, bills are, are passing yeah. right now to make it so that children can be unvaccinated. What we are doing and what they are doing is systematically turning this state and really this country, but this state are rolling back mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. measures that, and I oftentimes say tongue in cheek, that we're just a high tech third world country. Yeah. And yeah. this yeah. is where we're headed right now because we are gonna start, because the two things that has extended human beings in the world, mm -hmm. right, in the in, should have only lived to 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Why do we live beyond 40? Why do we live to 70 or 80? Johnson. It's two things, clean water mm -hmm. and vaccinations. And vaccinations. And okay. we remove vaccinations now from children who don't even have the opportunity to make that decision themselves. Right. I think probably by crime. parents who have been vaccinated. By parents, right? right. Been by parents with, who have been with, vaccinated with, with the little scar. And, and you, you can't it. transfer enough immunity to your child to be able to survive. And if they and now, uh, I said before, I hadn't had the measles or the MMMR. I had the uh, mumps and rubella. And when I I never had the measles because everybody else around me was vaccinated and never got it, but we're starting to see those things coming back often. So that's what we talked about before. If if you vaccinate, you protect and protect and protect, eventually it'll become a myth that mm -hmm. the big bad wolf yes. even exists. Yes. Because we've never seen it. Have you ever seen it? Have your kids or grandkids ever seen it? We don't need all these fences so around us. It, 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 it is a flaw of humanity. The way that our, we're genetically wired is if we don't see it, it's it not a concern. Exist. I mean, look what's yeah. happening with environmental change. We know mm -hmm. that we are headed to a catastrophe, yes. right? It was a great Netflix movie, right? Don't look up. Oh, it was yeah. clear that meteor was coming, yeah. but they were all just whistling by the graveside. That's right. And, but I mean, look at what's don't happening. Don't believe what they tell you. Look at what's happening in government. 
we have been we haven't seen it we don't know what that's like so why do we have to do anything about it that is what's happening right now but i want to touch on something that you said and that a lot of people think so 80 percent at a minimum 80 percent of our health is our interaction with the world there's 20 percent that you can attribute to genetics you can't transfer immunity to your child as they walk in the world. It just doesn't work well, like that. I mean, for well, the for, for the first six months. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. No, no. Okay. Beyond the first six months, once they start taking off on their own mm -hmm. and interacting with the world, that's babies get bugs. Yeah, yeah. they do. And pay, they be the past bugs. The first time they go out to nursery school, and, and that's bring the first time they're in large spaces, and they, they go out, they get it, and bring it back. And home. they build their immune systems. We facilitate that from the things that are most dangerous by vaccinations. Mm -hmm. We artificially introduce them in a safe way so they can be protected because th there's no doubt based on their interaction, they'll encounter these bugs in the world. It's a whole, whole concept. So understanding that this is a, a, a tool, this is this is giving you a car even though you have a skateboard, mm -hmm. right? Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're gonna give you something to really help you move along and protect you while while, while you're doing it. So that, that I just want people to understand that, that again, we're, it, this is, this is protection, not, not punishment. Not punishment, but it's been, uh, you know, and uh, you guys need to step up the marketing. Because you, you, no, you're 100%. being beat. Yeah, We've I'm, lost, I was, that's exactly where I was Yes, at. sir. We've lost yes, sir. the PR war. I mean, we've we lost it. We, yes, tried, we, with, we tried. tried with the cartoons. I mean, oh, I know. we still I tried. We made yeah. a valiant effort. I mean, we're 14 or 15 animations in, and we still can't get them to take. I mean, people watch them, they learn something right, from right, them. Right. That, you know, people come up to me and say, wow, that was great i really learned a lot or whatever but on the larger meta yeah. level but then they don't pass it on because they don't here. do it because you've got the other side that's out spending and out voluming your we have job. a presidential candidate right now mm. right who now just pulled in a vp uh who With, uh, is worth million untold amounts of millions that's of right. dollars and so now you have a clear, clear, clear vaccine denier. I mean, he'll couch it and pretend that he's not. But he's a vaccine denier. He's a vaccine denier. Absolutely. But who's been vaccinated? Who has been vaccinated, who has been been vaccinated, vaccinated. of course. Uh, because his uncle and, and father did great things in this That's in this right. country uh, to make you know to bring to equity bring, yes. you know and to bring medicine and to bring health care. That's, right. That's the lineage he came from. That was an embarrassing and humiliating and uh, um, uh, uh, commercial mm -hmm. that he did for the Super Bowl, oh, where yeah. he utilized his you know the imagery of his father of and his, his father uncle. and his uncle in the yeah. And yeah. so when you have at, at that level, That's what I'm talking and about. they also have lies and hypocrisy. That's the the tool that they're able to use, whereas we don't. Right, you just have with the truth. We have consistency of thought yes. and science, science and yes. they are able to use hypocrisy and lies to make it sexy. Yeah, that, and that's to make it clickbait. And, and that's the how they win. The other thing is that other sells. people don't want to do it, so they're just looking for a reason or excuse to not. So once this person says, "Oh, okay, this is something for me to hook on to," and that's what they go with, not because it's substantiated by anything, it's just a, a supporting their agenda or their ideas. But it's so politicized right now, and that is. What, that is what scares me about what's getting ready to happen. I you know what really, what's really, really frightening is what's happening in the AI world. Uh, there was just a petition signed by 200 major music artists um, to fight for their creativity. Uh, they, they're talking about the, the threat that this can be. What did, in this next iteration of the pandemic, you might not know. They might have us. Oh yeah, on a not podcast you. or something, and it's not us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, their own. I mean, it's 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 there's there's weapons of mass distraction happening right now. Yes, yeah. In the media, if you pay attention to what's going on, I mean, it's not even medicine versus marketing. It's straight no, distraction. It's straight mm -hmm. distraction. That's just being straight and circus. And, and I I wish that the people who deny vaccines, I wish I could bring them to the moments when we're just about to intubate somebody. Mm -hmm. And they recognize, oh, I made a mistake. And they say to me, as we're about to intubate them, hey, doc, can I get the vaccine? Can I get now? the vaccine now? And at that point, it's too late. <coughs> it's way, it's way too late. We had that. And that happened over the course that of that happened over the course of this thing. We talked, about, thing. We we talked about that. I wish I could bring yes. people to that moment. Yes. I wish I could video that moment. Obviously, we can't. It's not ethical. Right. For right. 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 Maybe we make a cartoon about that moment. Yeah. Yeah. But. The, that great. moment when people recognize, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, I made a mistake. Yes. It's that same thing, maybe you drank too much and now you get into a terrible car accident. Mm -hmm. That moment you realize you made a mistake. That moment, and you don't want other people, 
humanity calls That's for right. that you want to be able to have other people know oh my goodness I made a mistake don't do the don't same do thing don't do what I did we do it all the time yes, hey, don't, look a up. Hole. don't go that down that don't look up they lied to us yes too yes. late yes. Yes. too late because you knew it at the time 100%. You knew it at the time, but you were just caught up in the popular part and wanting to be in and wanting to be, you know, a part of it's like the guy in, in Charlotte uh, when, when they did the march, No Blood for Soil. Uh, and he, uh, he, yeah. he was the face with his mouth open, looking all mad. Yeah. And they asked him later, he said, man, what were you doing? I don't believe in this, man. I was out there trying to meet girls. Right. Yeah. True. Yeah. It was the truth, but what but happened what, what at was, the time? It's too late. It was for right. It's too late for your different. truth because when you had a chance to be honest and do something positive, you squandered it. It's just like you folks about to be intubated and say, Doc, can, can no atheists and foxholes, right? No, uh, no atheists and foxholes. And really quickly, because uh, somebody had a comment on the front porch and said they thought that uh, bird uh, excrement was good luck. Is that they, I guess they're confused. So, I, mean, I want know, to know if that the, is how. I come from the Jewish faith, uh -huh. and as you guys know, I'm a Jewish atheist. So. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Jew theist, right? Um, in the Jewish world, that is. I always laugh when I hear that because I just feel like that's just a sucker who just needs to take a bad moment and make something <laughs> good out of something it. Something good out of it. You like, know that's good luck. My right? dad would then go buy a lottery ticket. He'd be like, <laughs> you know, just me. Um, but the flu does transmit that way. Though. Yeah. It does transmit. Yeah. And so on a larger level, when we talk about the, the 1918 influenza, or you mentioned the, the Spanish, Spanish flu, flu, right? Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? It came from uh, pigs that were in mm -hmm. swine that were in, in in, um, in rice fields, mm -hmm. right, and the the birds that were coming through in the droppings, and you had the combination of swine influenza and bird influenza coming together that made that horrible virus as the 1918 uh, pandemic, and that we still live in the shadow of today. That's the H1N1 virus, mm -hmm. and when you get your flu shot, we still get that H1N1 virus. Because that, of the pigs and the birds. Because the pigs and the birds, the viruses that got together and did that. Now, what we are afraid of, virologists, infectious disease doctors, folks like myself, is that now that bird flu, that mm -hmm. really bad bird flu, mm -hmm. that is epidemic Jumps in the birds it. and the humans. So that one person who has it right now, our big concern in Texas, Texas is that if that person has influenza, human, human influenza, human human and they have uh, bird okay. flu mm -hmm. that they that two viruses recombine, which is what viruses do when they meet each other, human just human like two people flu. do when they go to a bar, mm -hmm. they combine, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you get a bird flu and a human flu, and they it's called recombination, and the genes mix. If the genes mix in just exactly the way that the bird flu gets the human transmission factor, mm -hmm. the genes that allows from human to, to human. human. Here we go again. Boom. Right back at And it. something our species has never seen before, and yes. there we are. And, and then, now you got to do that whole thing, Operation Warp Speed, to try to get all the great minds so, together and find another kiss. There, 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 there was a signature moment with, between M.A. and I when he had, I forgot which article he had me read. We can't imagine the, 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 the feeling of walking up, they were going around to check on people's houses, and they would walk in, and Everybody. six, everyone was dead. Yeah. The mom, the dad, all the babies are in their beds. That was like Ebola. The, the, the pets no, were even... Like when I was in the Ebola, pets were even, to walk in the houses and find stuff like that. Yeah, That's like pets, everything during right. Hurricane uh, Katrina. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, whole family, and, if there was anybody left. Right. If there was anybody left. Dr. Oh, Eric Griggs, Dr. Mark Allen Derry, always, always a pleasure to have you all here. A veritable <laughs> fount of sunshine and good news. But we surely appreciate you guys because you give it to us the way we need it straight up and with love. You guys be safe and thank you for coming in. You won't come back in next week. You're welcome to do I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm working next week. So yes. I'll do the week after. Do the week after. Okay. There right. you go. We're gonna I won't drag for you next week. Yeah. Thank you all for getting us three hours out of your life. <laughs> yes. Back. Yes. We certainly hope we've given you a little bit of something in return for the investment of your time. I'm your host, Graylin Bryant Banks. And it's your girl, Kimber White and Dupree. Wash your hands and cover your coughs. There you go. Wash it's Brother Nyron on the yeah. other side of the glass. Y'all practice random acts of kindness. Do something nice for somebody just because it's a nice thing to do. Take care of yourselves, and we're going to see y'all on the flip.